Today we're making a copycat recipe of Texas Roadhouse's dinner rolls. To begin, we need to uh, wake the yeast up. So we're gonna do that in some scalded milk, warm water, and sugar. With those ingredients in the mixer, we give it a stir, and in about 10 minutes, you'll start to see some foam. That means the yeast is waking up. You know the real treat isn't just the soft pillowy rolls. It's the butter, you get the slather all over it. So this is all you need to make a copycat of their cinnamon honey butter. That is a four ounce stick of unsalted butter that's been softened, half cup of powdered sugar, a teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and then a quarter cup or two ounces of honey. I'm just gonna mix all that together and then you let it sit while the rolls come together. Quick mix and there it is, cinnamon honey butter. Now let's shift our attention back to the stand mixer. The yeast is starting to wake up. I can't really see the foam, but I can certainly smell it. To that, I'm gonna add two eggs that were cracked and whisked, uh, half a cup of sugar, a couple ounces of butter that have been melted and cooled back to room temperature. And then in this bowl back here, I have uh, seven cups of flour. We're only gonna start by putting in six and see how the dough comes together. Really depends on the relative humidity and how the dough. Gonna get the mixer rolling with about three and a half cups of flour just to get things going. And then once that's incorporated, I'll start working in some more. I'm gonna do two and a half more cups to do a total of six and then see how the dough works. Three and a half cups have incorporated really nicely. I scrape the edges down with a rubber spatula. I add two and a half more cups to bring it to a total of six. A total of six cups of flour have been incorporated. The dough is mostly coming away from the wall and it's looking really good. So I'm gonna turn the mixer to medium speed. On my mixer, that's about level five. And it's gonna go for eight minutes. It's really gonna beat the heck out of the dough, but that's how you ensure pillowy softness. Today it took an extra five tablespoons of flour to get to the consistency I wanted, but you can see it's a nice soft uh, dough that's just forming a ball around the hook. So now we're gonna let the mixture go eight minutes on medium. After eight minutes on medium speed, we have this beautiful, soft, slightly tacky, not quite sticky dough that needs to be lightly oiled, covered with plastic, and allowed to proof for 45 minutes to an hour until yeah, double has passed. And let's take a look. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice, soft, that's gonna be perfect. For the next step, I have to call in. Helpers have returned. We've turned the dough out onto a floured counter. You'll see here in Juan's hands. Hi, Juan. <laughs> that his hands are also a little floured, and he's going to start pressing out the dough a little bit. Go ahead. So I'll start squishing it down. So we've switched helpers, and we've moved to rolling. Hello, Derek. Hello. Derek's going to show us how to roll out the dough using a tapered rolling pin. Look at that form. Look at that form. Very nice, very nice. Bring it back to the middle. Okay, now pull towards you. That's some nice. Gonna show us how to cut this into two by two pieces using a pizza cutter. Juan, can you show us what two inches is by using, say, three of your little fingers? Look at that. Okay, so show us how to do a cut. You go, let's say, like about two inches mm -hmm. far. And then you just cut right through. The dough's been cut and put onto a half sheet tray with parchment paper. The last step before it goes into the oven is they need to bench proof for about 45 minutes till they raise to the height of the pan. 45 minutes later, we're proofed and ready for the oven. Look at those beauties. There they are. Look at those beautiful rolls. Final test will be to have my super helpers give them a quality inspection. Mm-mm. Mm. Oh. A 10 out of 10.